to another video. In this video, we'll talk about how to use row selection in a table. Now, this functionality is incredibly powerful, so you can probably use it in 10,000 different ways. But I think the most important part is to understand the premise behind it in terms of how you use it and what really it does. And then once you really understand that, you can then manipulate it to several different use cases within Salesforce to bring the data back. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I've got two strips here, strip one, strip two, and what I will do is I will label them as well with some text. So this one, I can say my accounts. Make this a bit wider. And then strip two, we will say contacts to that account, and I'll make this a bit smaller as well. So let's say 16, or oh, it's too small. Let's do 60. And we'll call this one my contacts. Contacts to my account. All right, something very, very simple. So these are my two labels strip one, strip two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start off in strip one where we bring a table and that brings my accounts. So go to table. You can do this in list view also. In fact, I'll, this, the second strip will use the list view. Count. I'll bring up to 20 records and I'm going to put a little condition that count name must contain the keyword hospital. So I've got a few here that we can use, and they will have contacts, so it'll be easier to explain. Next up, we'll use count name, we'll bring back count type, we'll bring back account number, just some random fields. Click apply, and there is my table. So here's my table. Let's click save, and then let's click preview, and see what sort of data we are displaying in there. Give it a second, and there's my data. So that looks good. And now what I want to do is enable row functionality. So we go to settings, go to interactivity, and do allow row selection. Now, again, the, the important part I mentioned at the start of the video is to understand the premise behind it, why we do these things. So when you've got row selection enabled, you can do multiple things. You can uh, check them. You can update uh, these accounts in a batch. You can even bring data that's related to these. That's really the point that you can run any action directly from these tables into, into um, sorry, bring the data back into the table. You can click on data within the table and show data in another place. You can even um, redirect them to another place when they click on a certain records. A lot of different options available. In this instance, what I'm going to do in the second part here I'm going to bring a list view. So we've got a table, bring a list view over. And this is going to be coming from contacts. And we're going to bring up to 20 contacts in the table. But here is the important part. I'm going to say account ID in my field, which is the account selection. So this table selection, which is the account selection, this is what I want. So every time I check something within that table, I'm going to be showing the related data directly into the list view. So, and the data we'll bring back here is full name, email, and then we'll do account ID so I can show you the, the, the cross reference. Like that. Click apply, and here's my list view. So I'm just going to align this. Make sure it's there. And then one final thing I want to do is I want to make sure that it triggers off my first table and not by itself. So for that, we go to Salesforce, configure the integration, and say auto trigger. Click apply, close, done. All right, so let's do the refresh now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to choose the first record, which is the Australia Hospital. 
and you can see as I've selected that it's brought the contact related to that account directly into the list view. All right. Now if I choose the second hospital, because we did the in command, it's going to bring back records from the Canada hospital. If I choose India hospital, you can see the list gets bigger. And same, if I now go to Israel, United Kingdom, United States, the list gets bigger and bigger and all the contacts are in there. And, um, and that's really it. So that's like one of the use cases, how you can really exploit your table functionality do check, 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 and brings back related data. You can also do check, 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 update multiple records in batch, and many other use cases. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it.